Hey everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Why the Heck Does Annie Remake Stuff? Today I'm going to be showing you how I remade my Keyleth Cloak. You can see behind me my original Keyleth Cloak. There's literally nothing wrong with it. I spent 50 hours patterning it and sewing on all the leaves myself. I love it. It's a really nice cloak. It's very durable. It's very warm very warm. But my main complaint with it was when I did photo shoots, I hadn't realized before just what the inside would look like if I opened the cape up. As you can see here in this photo, I hadn't really considered what the lines on the inside would look like in terms of how I had sewn on the leaves, and it really bothered me when I saw it in this photo. The photo itself is great, but my issue was I really didn't like the noticeable lines or the fact that you could see the fabric that I used, which was an old sheet. So I have decided to completely and utterly remake my entire keyleth cloak, and I will be sharing the process with you so that in case you're really interested on knowing how to make a keyleth cloak, this might help you. The first thing that I did was make an official pattern for my cape. Before I didn't bother on patterning it on paper and I just did it straight to the fabric, but this time I wanted to make sure that I would have a pattern for future use so I didn't have to keep sitting there and fighting with the fabric. The pattern that I used will be available on my Patreon, which is linked down below, so if you're interested in using it, feel free to check that out. After I had patterned my cape, I went ahead and just put it straight on the fabric that I was going to use. This is not one of those kind of things that you want to like double line the fabric because you're not going to be able to see the inside the way that I'm doing it and you really don't want to make it any thicker than it has to be. The cape that I have is already really thick and relatively warm in the summer. It honestly is very overbearing to wear during Georgia's summers, so I would not recommend making it any thicker unless you just really want to. From there, I start picking out my leaves. I did have a little bit of a mix up this time because I thought I had enough thread leaves to be able to merge it gracefully with the orange, but that was not the case. And I did wind up having to go back in and sew in additional orange leaves to make the gradient make a little bit more sense. In my original cloak, I was very meticulous about how I made the leaves kind of change gradient where I had counted out at least 20 to 30 rows of leaves where I slowly reduced the number of red leaves that were in there until eventually it was nothing but orange. And I slowly started adding in some yellows and greens once I got closer to the top. I think it makes for a really good gradient. My only complaint is I do kind of wish that I had done the red to orange a little bit sooner because the whole half bottom of the entire cloak is very red. Ironically, with the new cape, my issue is I feel like I needed more red. To make the cloak like I had initially made it, all you really need to do is just pin on a bunch of leaves and then sew it on your sewing machine. You could hand sew it if you want, but it's going to take you forever. And I would recommend having a heavy duty sewing machine in order to do this because it's a lot of fabric to get through and the leaves can kind of gunk up your machine. This new way that I did it was a little bit slow going because I had to account for both sides of leaves every time that I went and sewed it, which meant that some of the leaves did kind of get folded over while I sewed them and I had to go back in and kind of free them up by cutting them out or by adding a whole nother leaf on top of it because it wasn't worth trying to unstitch it. This is a very long and very slow process. I highly recommend having something that you're watching or listening to while you do it because otherwise you're gonna go completely insane. The first cloak that I made, it took 40 hours to just sew the leaves on. The second cloak, I am estimating that it took between 70 to 85 hours to sew all of the leaves on because there were so many more leaves. Thank you. 
It's done. I do really like how the gradient turned out with this one, though I would have preferred to have used less green leaves, but that's just a personal choice. I prefer the more fall colors, but it did turn out really good. And I love having the leaves on the inside as well. It makes for some really good swooshy photos. And I just, I like having that extra detail. Again, the pattern for this is on Patreon and you can see some more behind the scenes stuff over there, like how I made my original Keyleth crown, as well as all my behind the scenes on different Keyleth photo shoots and different Keyleth cosplay videos. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all next time. Thank you.